talk a little bit about the difference between active and passive. So when we think about passive, we think about just kind of letting things happen to us. The trap that most students fall into is that they do too many passive activities and not enough active activities. Every time you read 6 to 8 pages, you might have to close the textbook and recite from memory what it is that you read, the key points that you read. And you can do this either by writing down the key points that you, that you read or by just talking it through either with a study buddy or just on your own if you're somewhere where you can talk aloud without feeling uncomfortable. So it's important obviously when you're in class to be listening to the professor, but what we find is that people spend too much time just listening and actually not engaging, and so the information just goes in one ear and out the other, coming prepared with questions. If you don't feel comfortable asking those questions, that's not a problem. It's the act of coming up with the questions and seeking the information. Often students are copying information right out of the textbook. Copying information directly from the textbook is not necessarily helpful. So instead of just copying information, what can be helpful is to paraphrase the information into your own words. When you paraphrase something, it helps you to understand. It lets you know what you do understand and what you don't understand. So I hope that you found those three ways to get more active in your learning uh, helpful and that you'll have, uh, you'll feel more engaged in the way that you study.